Nice. Um, well, if I'm going to change the oil, I'm going to need a little bit more room. So let's lift again. Oh, dude, there's a ceiling there. Ooh, that was close. Hey guys and gals, it's story time with Legend Eternal. We're here with a Legends look at a new game called Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Now this game just dropped on July 28th, I believe. So a couple of weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, something like that. Looks like a lot of fun. Now I'm kind of a shade tree mechanic sometimes when I feel like it. I like old cars though. And, and that's one thing that really drew me to this game was if you look in the background well the background screen just flew away but those guys are working here it comes again that is a 1970 barracuda my dream car that's one thing that really just drew me to this game was seeing that i'm like oh my god i mean i love that car I mean, you can keep your ferraris your lamborghinis your porsches maseratis all that 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. That's my dream car. Would love to have one. I want to. I'm going to have one one day. One day. But anyway, um, yeah, I like to work on cars a little bit. Nowhere near as good as my dad. Boy, he could just rebuild a car in the backyard in one weekend. But anyway, so I took a little look at this game. I went through the tutorial. It's not much to the tutorial. You just walk around a garage and look at things. It tells you what they do so then we're going to start and let's go ahead and hit continue yes and it's going to load up this game is got a lot to it it seems like you start out in this small garage and you're working on cars you're taking orders people bring in cars they want stuff fixed you fix it as you advance in the game later on you can do things like um, i think that you can go buy like old cars out of a junkyard and stuff you can unlock the junkyard you can get parts cheaper out of the junkyard you can get old cars and fix them up i mean there's a lot to do it seems like i mean you've got if you come to this toolbox and look, you click on that you've got like a skill tree and i mean you do stuff like well you know i need more space i can expand my garage um you get discounts on orders another garage expansion just different kind of stuff you unlock as you go through and that's kind of cool because it kind of gives you a progression type feel you're not doing the same things over and over it seems like and so right now we're in this little garage and the first thing we want to do is let's pick up the phone and take an order come over here to the phone oh we got a computer here too we can order parts there we'll see that soon but let's take an order um oh we got two orders we can do Look at that again. Oh, what? One went away. Back on. Okay. A year and a half ago, I bought my son's car. He said he's not interested in anything. So filling it up at the gas station. Please check the oil in the tires. Okay. We'll take that order. And so, there's the car for us to come work on. So, let's go take a look at this car. Uh, kind of a piece of junk. A little rusted up. What is that noise? Oh, have we got a call? I heard a beep. We got a call. What? We're going to let that the machine have that because we got a car we need to work on. So let's take a look at this car. We need to change the oil and check the tires. Tires look like crap, but I'm pretty sure that's, that's not what we're supposed to do with them. Let's take the car and move it. We're going to move the car. Um, let's go to the lift. So we don't have to drive it to the left because that's good because that would get kind of tedious and pain in the buttocks but now we got the car in the left so what do we do let's lift it <coughs> nice um well if i'm going to change the oil i'm going to need a little bit more room so let's lift again oh dude there's a ceiling there Ooh, that was close 
Oh, man. Okay. We got the car up. There's the engine. Wait, no. Yep, there's the engine. There's the drain plug. Oil pan. Oil burn. Um, no, we don't want to take... No, don't do that. Oh, what are you doing? Get away from there. Uh, we need the oil drain thing. Oil drain machine. I don't know what this... Uh, I mean, this is a neat little contraption. Um, I just always just put it in my... What? First car lifter. Oh, you're there. Cool. So, we click to use. Drain oil. Nice. I don't know what this thing is supposed to be doing, but I guess that's an oil recycler deal. I just always drain it to a pan and you know, uh, pour it out somewhere before they made us take it to a parts place. So, okay, we're done with you. Place equipment back. Okay, you're back where you need to go. Is a plug back in? Yes, it is. All right, let's look at... Ooh, why don't we put oil in it before we forget? We want to go... Damn. Good. Guys, I'd hate to not put oil in here. Let's lift the hood. Click click to use or hold click to take off. We'll focus on the engine. Oil fill plug. Take off. Ah, okay, cool. I'm just going to fill her up. Is that enough? Do I know? Let's put some more. Okay, it's making a stop now. Maybe it's full. How do I get out of here? Escape. All right. We put that back on. Let's find the dipstick. Is that the dipstick? Yes. Hold. Hold. Take off part. Now right, we need some more oil. We, get, we still got some. Go away. We need more oil. Come on, dude. Put more oil in there. Why did you make me stop earlier? Oh, shoot. We're spilling it. All right. Did we make a mess? Let's try the dipstick again. Max. That's perfect. All right. So we have completed the oil chain. That was neat. Did we make a mess under there? Is there oil under there? Because I spilled some. I saw it drop. Nope. Looks like it's clean. All right, let's close the hood. Now we need to look at these tires. So let's see what we want to do. Let's go ahead and lift it back up. <clears throat> and I think, not suspension, I want the tire. Can I focus on part? It looks like crap, but I think you can examine it somehow. Examine mode. Ooh, look. All the tires are red. Red's bad. I think that means red is bad. So let's take off part. Well, we can't just take off the tire. We gotta unscrew. Get off me. Unmount. We're going to... No, I don't want to unmount the brake. That gummit. It's a little hard to get used to. I'm not... I'm still learning. Can I rim? Ah, you hold it, and now you can just hold these and take these out. Really, you don't have to spin the mouse wheel like you did in, in my summer car. You had to find the right wrench and spin the mouse wheel. To, okay, tires off. Go away. Let's just take all of them off, because they were all bad. Okay, you guys... I've seen this, so I'll bring it back when I got all the tires off. All right, guys, so this car is rimless. It looks like it was parked in a bad neighborhood, right? Except it'd be on cinder blocks instead of a lift. So what we need to do now is we have, we look in our inventory, we got wheels and rims, 205-55R16. We'll have to remember that. So we need to take these tires off the rim, and we can do that with a tire changer. Separate parts. Yes. Yes. Oh, cool. They always did this with a couple of screwdrivers and a bunch of muscle. Take them. All right, let's do that again. Yes. 
All right, so we have all four tires off. And look at them, they're all in horrible condition. So we're gonna have to buy four new tires. Voy's price, standard tire B, 205-55R16. Gotta remember those numbers, 205-55R16. So let's come over here to our computer. Oh, that's an old model, looks like an old Tandy or something. Um, not rims, all tire. Here's a tire shop. So we need standard tire B. I want four of them. Uh, 205. Oh, too much. 55 R16. Good. Let me buy that. Awesome. So have I got new ones on me? Yes, I do. I got four brand new tires. So let's go back over here to the machine. And I think we can just remount them. Right here. In our handy dandy tire changer. Install tire on a rim. I want to use this rim and this tire. Yes. And it just spins that puppy back on. Man, I wish I would have had one of these when I was working on cars in my garage. That would have made stuff a lot easier. Alright, let's do this for the other three now. Alright guys, this is the last tire going on the rim. So we're going to take that and let's go put them back on the car. Wait, let's see. We got, yes, tires on the rim, great condition. What can we do with this? Oh, we can sell them. Yes, sir. I don't want tires that crappy. Oh, zero dollars. That one's in bad shape. All right, so let's put these on. Okay, how do I work on part? Focus on part? No. Okay, let's try right clicking. Oh, yes. Assemble mode. Yeah, we want to assemble something. I can't assemble it. Normal mode. I don't want that. Okay. I want to part mount mode. There we go. And I click on that. And I hold hold left click to, to mount. There's no items to work with. I got them in my hot. I, mean, I do, dude. Wait, rim loss, yes. What do you mean there are no items to work with? I don't understand. Don't I have them? I do. I got the rims and tires right here. 205-55-R16 on the rims. Uh, let's try you. I want to not overview, not move the car. What's that? No. Assemble mode. Body assembly. I don't want body assembly. Normal mode. Focus on part. I want to part and mount. Yes, standard tire B. I, okay, I'm totally lost here. What's going on, dude? Nope. Okay, guys, give me a minute to figure this out, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I think I've got it figured out here. Um, it appears that I forgot to use the wheel balancer, because when you put a new tire on, you got to balance it. Yes, I want to balance it. I'll bring it over here, tell it to balance it. It goes to a little balancing machine. It spins it. I mean, this is cool. It's mostly automatic. Uh, see, did you see me have the little wheel weights? That's so cool. Okay, so it's got to go through this process for all four tires. So you just saw me do it with one, and I'm fixing to do it with the other three. And we'll be right back, and hopefully they'll go on this time. Yep, guys, that was it. The wheels would not go on because I didn't balance them. I wish it would give you that little warning because I sure didn't even think about balancing, t balancing the tire. So you come here, click, tell it to add, and you pick on it. Now you notice that the little red thing that was here earlier was not. I kind of looked at that. That was a set of scales. That kind of was a warning. But I wish it would have said that when I was sitting there blindly trying to put it on. You just tell it to go, and you 
just spin those things in. Just hold the left mouse button, and it'll put the lug nuts back on. And we have all new tires on this piece of crap car. So let's get it off the lift. Bring it on down. All right. So let's check this car out. Are we done? Uh, no car status. Ah, we got... But dude did not say anything about fuel filter and air filter. He just said change the tires and put new oil in it. Okay, so we got to check the fuel filter and air filter. We're not done yet. Okay, open the hood. Air filter. Okay, there's air filter. Get off there. Well, just hold on the little clips. There's probably some in the back. Yes, there is. You just find them. Hold left mouse button, takes them off. Now, we can pop that air cover off. Awesome, yep, that air filter is in rough shape. Look at it, it's all black and stuff. We'll pull that out, and let's go ahead and see if we can find the fuel filter. That's the brake pump. Focus on the engine. Find it, is that, is that it? Yes, that's it. We're gonna pull, pull that puppy off too. Get off me. All right, let's see what we got. <clears throat> now we're gonna save those clips. We have a crappy air filter, zero condition. Fuel filter, 6% condition. They're both bad. And what's that? Bardo. Okay, and shoo, 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 something. Okay, so let's go find a fuel filter and air filter. Computer. Uh, main shot, probably. Is this the one we had? Yeah, yeah, that looks the same. We'll buy one of those. And fuel. Yeah, there we go. Fuel filter. Buy one of those. Awesome. Let's go put these back in the car. Engine. Okay, it was about right here. I want to mount a part. That's what I want to mount right there. And we want to make sure the good one's selected. And it goes in. Awesome. Okay, let's look at this. The intake. We want to put a part on. And the new air filter. And, of course, make sure the good one's selected. And it pops right in. All right, now we want to put the cover back on. Yep, we only got one of those. And now make sure we get all the clips. You don't want to forget a clip. Hold on it. The phone's still ringing. Dude, I'm working on one right now. I cannot answer the phone. I need a secretary, apparently. All right. So that's all of it. Let's back out of this. Okay, we got a new air filter and fuel filter in this piece of crap car. New tires and fresh oil. Are you satisfied? Let's check the status of the order. We're all fixed. Nice. And look at this, money spent. Dude, I'm busy. We got task bonus, job bonus, total payout, finish order. And the car's gone. And now instead of $4,000, we have $47.39. Do we got time for another car in this episode? Eh, why not? Let's try it. All right, we got two choices, looks like. We have repair with minimal parts condition, repair with minimal... He just want poor brake performance. And what's this guy? Brake system needs fixing. So, I don't know. Which one do we want to work on? Uh, that looks like a BMW. Let's take that one in. Ah, look at it. Lime green. This is a little bit nicer car than the one we had earlier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, let's look at the job car status. Okay, we need... It's got... Two bad brake discs, bad brake pads, and a bad brake caliper. And it don't tell us which one. Okay. So let's get it on the lift and see what we can find. We're going to move it. Dude, I'm not answering the phone right now. I'm working on a car. Let's get you popped up there. Come on up where we can look at you. I gotta remember not to leave the hood open when I do that. Okay, we gotta take the car tires. Oh, uh, wait. Let's go into examiner mode. 
Can we go into examine mode? No. Do we have to unfocus on it? No, we have to focus on it. And let's go into examine mode. Okay, there's the bad brake caliper right there. It looks like the others are pretty good. I think, I can't see. Let's go look at the other tires. So the front right brake caliper is bad. Right, let's focus on it first and examine. Okay, there's the bad brake pads. Okay, let's check this one. Examine mode, and there's the brake disc. So, wait, did I click this tire? I don't think I did. That's got a bad brake disc as well. Okay, so all four tires have to come off. That's unfortunate. So, I'm going to pull these tires off. You guys have seen this part. So, I'll bring you back when the tires are off the car. All right. And all the wheels are off the car and looking at it you can tell a little bit just by looking you can go in well, not there you can go tell a little bit in examine mode and you can tell the things that are wrong but just looking I mean you can tell this this brake brake disc here is all rusted up where this one looks all clean now what was bad on this tire oh, got to focus on it and you examine and the brake pad is bad so we got to take let's get started we got to take the caliper off to get to the brake pad there's the bolts we can see the ghost from behind and now we can take the brake pads off so that brake pad is bad let's go to this wheel it's the disc that's bad on that so we got to get rid of Take the caliper. Take the pads. Now we can take the disc. Alright, let's go around to this wheel. Again. Oh, focus on it first. It takes a little getting used to. These controls are a little funky. Yeah, guys, I know this ain't the same kind of game that y'all are used to seeing on my channel, but it looks kind of fun and just try a little something different uh just get a little variety in the channel i hope you guys are enjoying it i'm kind of enjoying it i mean ooh, that's bright i mean if you want to see a series on this yeah we well, might could do one let me know what you think all right it might just be a one-off thing okay and what did we need? oh we needed to, i think what do we need off here what was wrong with this one I think the I think it was a caliper on this one. Let's look go into examine mode just to check. Yeah, everything else is fine. So let's see, what have we got in our inventory that needs changing? We have one set of pads. Oh, let's sell this other crap. Sell that air filter for zero dollars. Sell the field filter for zero dollars. Alright. So we need two brake discs. We need one brake caliper. You can sell the condition down here. They're all red. And we need one set of brake pads. Let's go to our old trusty computer. And we need brake stuff. Um, are there different kinds of calipers? No, it's appears to be just one. We're going to buy one of those. And we needed a set of brake pads. Okay, let's see. We got two types of discs. We got brake disc and brake disc ventilated. I can't remember which one. Let's look at the parts from inventory and see which one we've got. They're just the regular brake discs. They're not ventilated. So, let's go into here. And we'll buy two of these. Get bolt. Okay, I think we have all the pieces we need. So, let's go and reassemble everything. Okay, what was missing here? 
Um, we want to put the part on, brake pads. Perfect. And we don't want to use the bad ones. We want to use these. And put the caliper back on. Wait, this one? Yeah, with the uh, brake caliper cylinder. I didn't know he took that off. Okay. That'll work. And screw it on. There, we're golden. Alright, disc, caliper, brake pads. Let's put the tire back on. And I hope this is the right tire. I don't remember if we didn't keep them straight, whether they were, we were going to rotate them or not, but I don't guess it much matters. I don't guess we're that uh, specific now. Okay, what are we missing here? Hey, we're missing everything. Focus on it. Add a part. We're going to put the disc on first. Yep, it just slides on. Next, we'll put the brake pads on. I think we must be shorter. Did we not buy brake pads? I think we're going to be shorter brake pad. Yes. Yeah, screw those on, man. That's bright. Okay. Now we'll put the rim back on it. Nope, that one didn't go all the way. Gotta make sure it's screwed on. We don't want his wheel flying off and him to come sue us. That would be unfortunate. Okay, come around here. Now you need a disc on too, don't you? Pop that on. Uh, then the brake pads. Yes, we're definitely short of brake pads. Put the caliper on. That'll work. All right, let's screw it in. All right, back out. Get off me. Okay, we got to put the tire on now. Ah, come on. Park mount, there we go. That would give me some trouble there for a minute. One on the front just have four bolts? Or am I hallucinating? I could have sworn it just had four bolts on the front. Are they No, it had five. Okay, yes, I was merely hallucinating. But let's go buy are we sure we don't have a good brake pad? Well, what did I buy? Okay. Alright, let's go buy a brake pad. Computer on. Oh. I bought one. Uh, we did now. Alrighty. Ah! Oh, we didn't need one because that brake pad was fine. All we had to take off was caliber. That gummit. Oh well. We'll put that in the shop. We'll probably need one for something. That's why. I could have sworn I bought what I needed. Yes. Okay, the brake caliper is on. Back out, dude. Put the rim on. Yes. Oh. I guess it's supposed to be doing star pattern. <laughs> oh, well. He might wobble a little bit. And we did not have to balance those wheels because we didn't change the tire. So, it's fine. That's just fine and dandy. Okay, get off me. All right, so I think we're good there. Let's see. Check the status. A uh, sweet. We didn't get much of a job bonus there. Total payout, 368. Finish order. Yes. And the car's gone. Yeah, we didn't make a lot of money off that job, but hey. It wasn't that hard of a job. We just had to do do uh, do a little bit of brakes. So, guys, that's basically the beginnings of this game. Is you're just taking jobs. Like, let's look on the phone and see what we got. We got more people wanting to come in. He still needs his brakes fixed. 
this guy needs his brakes fixed, more brake jobs. So you, that's basically what you do. If you look up in the upper right, my XP is going up. I'm 268 out of 307 to go to the next level. Then I could come in here to the toolbox and I could level up. I could examine parts faster, which mm, I didn't really seem to be having a problem examining them, but hey, maybe I didn't don't know what I'm looking for. And also, you can do 50% faster screwing and unscrewing. It's always good to screw faster. So um, I guess that is, that's a good perk to take too. But anyway, and you can level up, come on, and I am guess down, down the line, you go a ways down and you can unlock the garage, you can go to the junkyard, you can go to the racetrack. There's a lot of stuff to do. Like, I mean, if you come down here, over here to the door, and click on the door, you've got a parking lot. That's a parking lot of our garage. There's nothing really funny there. Car salon was just added. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe like a... a painting detail place a test track where we could test our cars after we worked on them junkyard this would be cool we can't go there yet see it doesn't highlight like the others do but <clears throat> that's where we can go we can find cheap parts we can find junk cars maybe car auctions racetrack so there's a lot of stuff to do i mean the game really it seems to have some legs on it and yeah, I mean it's a lot of fun if you're at all interested in cars or you want to learn about cars. I mean it's it, it's it, it's entertaining. But then again, I like cars, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you want to see more of this on the channel, or we can go back to killing zombies if you want to. Ah, uh, well, we'll kill zombies anyway because we love killing zombies. But anyway, let me know what you think talk about it have you played this game do you like it how far have you got what kind of cars have you restored let's talk about it um and if you enjoyed it please hit the like button it really helps me out it helps our channel to grow and this channel's growing fast and I'm, I'm i'm really appreciative of all you guys the work you put in to help the channel grow if you want to see more of my videos if you're new here and you hadn't already hit the subscribe button uh, I put out videos about once a day. We'll miss some. This week might be a little um, inconsistent because I'll be out of town for part of this week. But most of the time it's a video a day. Sometimes it's two. Once in a blue moon, I'll take the day off. Not very often. If you want to talk, talk about it down in the comments, please feel free to. I love reading your comments. I love responding to them. And I generally in the series, I'll comment on the comments in, in on, on air. So... Also, join us on Discord. Join the Eternals. The link's down in the description. We have a lot of good discussion. We talk about gaming. We talk about recording. We talk about just random stuff sometimes. So hit that link down in the description and join the fun. This is the end for Legend. Much love and have a happily ever after. And we will see you in the next chapter. Bye now. Thank you.